Liverpool today and I'm back down the allotment. Um, what I'm going to do today um, is I'm going to um, sow the carrots and the onions. Now I'm going to sow them together because I'm going to alternate the rows. So I'll do run one row of um, onions and then another row of carrots and then another row of onions and so forth. It's always good to um, sow them alternately like that because um, the onions suffer from onion fly and the carrots suffer from carrot fly. But the smell from each other deters the fly from the other. So they actually, they're what we call companion planting, which means that they help deter the bugs from the other plant. So they're ab absolutely brilliant to um, grow next to each other. Now, um, I've got three trays of onions here. I've still got a load more at home, but that was all I could um, fit in the boot of the car. But these are my onions. Okay, I, I've grown these from sets and I sewed these in half toilet rolls about eight weeks ago, I think. Um, so they've been growing in the greenhouse quite happily. Some of them haven't uh, started to shoot up yet, um, and, but most of them um, have. So um, I'm going to put these in and the carrots that I'm going to um, alternate them with to start with um, are some rainbow ones. They're called rainbow mix of many colours and they're from Pennard plants. So let me show you how to sow your onions and your carrots. Now what you need to do is you need to dig the soil over Make sure you take any weeds out. Uh, get down as low as you can with uh, either the big fork or the uh, little trowel. Uh, and make sure that you break up any large lumps of soil. Then you'll need to put in a line. Now this is so that you end up with nice straight lines. If you want wonky lines, then don't bother to put in a line. Um, but I like nice straight lines. Now we need to put these uh, onions, which is what I'm gonna sow first, uh, we need to put them about four to five inches apart. The more space you leave between them, the bigger they will get. If you plant them very close together, then they won't spread. So let's dig a hole for the first one. And this is one of the onions. It's got a wonderful root system down the bottom there, absolutely gorgeous. It's got a lovely shoot on the top and the onion itself is still nice and firm. So what we're going to do is we're going to just put that, make sure all of its roots are down, put that in the soil like that, and then just bring the soil back over the top of it. You want the soil to be just above the level that it was when it was um, in the compost, and then just gently pat it down. So I'll give a gap of about four or five inches and then I'll dig another hole and plant the next one in. So I'll carry on doing this and uh, I'll do one line and then I'll come back when I've finished. Right so there are the first row of um, onions in. If you find any that haven't um, started to shoot or put roots down the bottom, then just discard those because if they haven't started to grow now, then they're not going to grow at all. Now, what you need to do then is you need to move your line just over about four or five inches and then we can start sowing the first of the carrots. So once you've got your line in place, then you need to dig a little trough. Uh, make sure that it's only about half an inch deep and we'll dig it along the entire length of the string. Now once you've done your trough, you then need to water in the trough all the way along. Now once you've uh, watered the inside of the little trough, um, what this does, I do this for two reasons. First of all, it levels out the soil and second of all, it means that when you sow the seeds, they touch the water straight away um, so that you don't have to water them um, when you've put the soil over the top because sometimes that dislodges them and you could have them growing all over the place. So I personally find that this is the best thing to do. 
if you've dug your soil really well it won't take long for the water to go down and now what we need to do is to sow the seeds now I'm going to show you the seeds but I'm going to keep them in the bag because it's a little bit windy here and I have a feeling that if I put them in my hand to show them to you um, I'll lose half of them all carrot seeds look exactly the same they're very very small um, they will vary possibly slightly in colour um, but nothing major they're sort of a mid brownie colour so I'm going to sprinkle these very evenly not too close to each other all along the line so just get your finger and your thumb and just pinch some between your finger and your thumb and then you just need to move your finger and your thumb back and forth along the line and the seeds will fall out onto the soil now don't sow the seeds too closely but don't sow them too far apart either I know that it's uh, it's not particularly helpful um, but if you sow them too close together um, then they won't expand the carrots as they grow and if you sow them too far apart then you'll mo you may well lose them the little packet that I showed you just now um, has done this entire row which is about seven eight feet um, so um, hopefully that will give you um, some idea of, of how far apart to sow them and then once you've done that then you just need to very gently push the soil back over the seeds just like that and the very last thing you need to do is to uh, make sure that you label them and I put in a stick here so that I know where the line starts I will put one up the other end as well and as a precautionary measure um, I found in the last couple of years that the slugs and the snails have taken a nibble um, at my um, my carrots as they start to come up so what I've actually started to do and this seems to help is to actually sprinkle just a few slug pellets across the top of the soil along the line of where I've just sown the carrots and this seems to help right well I'll move the line up another five um, four or five inches um, and then I'll sow another row of onions um, and then I'll sow another row of carrots and keep going until um, I've either filled the bed um, or I've run out of carrots and onions so um, I'll carry on and do that that will most probably take me most of the morning okay right I'm um, I've done another row of onions and I'm about to do um, another row of carrots and the ones I'm going to sow um, now are from Mr Fothergills and they're called Yellowstone they're really nice they they come to sort of normal length uh, they are normal sized carrots um, and um, they're just yellow in flavor and they're absolutely gorgeous they're really really nice um, I grow these most years um, and they just really seem to do very very well uh, there's quite a few seeds in here there's 350 so this will most probably be uh, more than enough for two rows uh, so I'll do one now and then I'll do another row of onions and then I'll finish off uh, with these ones right well I'm I'm doing really well with the uh, the carrots and the onion combo uh, the next lot of carrots that I'm going to sow are these ones and these are called uh, autumn king 2 uh, these can actually get really quite big um, the best year I've had with carrots um, was several years ago uh, and they were just enormous um, across the top they were a good inch and a half to two inches across the top uh, and they were really really long they were absolutely fabulous um, I think that was when we had a nice warm summer um, could have been ages ago um, and so um, that's clearly what they like so hopefully um, they'll do well this year um, if you do have problems with stony soils the best thing to do is to grow shorter carrots or if you have really clay soil um, and you're growing them in raised beds then um, the best ones to grow are the shorter ones these will get quite long uh, there are plenty of short ones out there that you can uh, you can find um, if you do have very clay soil I would suggest that you work in as much organic matter as you possibly can um, and then that helps break up 
the uh, the clods of clay um, but oh clay soil is just a nightmare um, and I'm, I'm so glad I don't have it and I do feel so sorry for those of you who do so um, now I'm going to start planting these autumn king um, there are 2,000 seeds in here uh, they won't all uh, germinate so it's not like I'm going to have loads and loads of carrots um, <laughs> Well, hopefully, uh, but you never know. Um, but um, this should do about four rows, actually, um, but we'll soon see. Right, I've been down here for three hours now, or just over, actually, just over three hours, um, and I'm, um, I'm exhausted, so I'm going to go home. I've done a lot today. I've got loads of um, carrots in and loads of onions. I've still got a lot more to do, so I will carry on with those tomorrow. Well, I hope you found what I've shown you interesting and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye bye.